What's up guys, thanks for tuning in to the item report. My name is Ava Ani, hope all is well with you. So here are my top seven albums, suggestions that I think you need to get like ASAP, like hands down. So number one, and I'm looking at my notes, so if you see me looking down. Number one is Solange. I love Solange, I've always loved Solange. I've actually purchased some of her um, albums from back in the day, but she came out with a new album. The new album is called A Seat at the Table. I think the title is dope. Uh, the project was released on September 30th, which is recently. And um, I will tell you uh, my favorite tune, one of my favorite tunes right now is Cranes in the Sky. Really dope, great video, great visuals. Uh, Solange is very artistic to me. I love everything about her. Um, I feel like she doesn't get as much credit as she should because why she is Beyonce's sister. And shout outs to Beyonce though, because she, be, she, she works. But I'm happy that Solange uh, released this new album. It's really central, it's really dope, it's something chill. You can sit back and think about things and I love it so definitely pick out excuse me pick up that album you will not be disappointed uh number two is one of the most dopest mcs out of detroit is danny brown he came out with this album called atrocity exposition hopefully i'm pronouncing it right it was released also september 30th when I say that album is really on fire, it's when I, it's like high energy, super, super high energy. Um, no laid back really tunes. It is, it's like a great energy party album. Like it is so dope. It has features from Kendrick Lamar and maybe I think other, some other people as well, but Danny Brown really killed it. I really love this album. I'm definitely hoping that it comes on vinyl um, because I definitely will do a review on it. So that is a must. If you don't get anything, please get the Danny Brown album. And the next uh, album with number three on my list is Chance the Rapper. I've always liked Chance the Rapper. My best friend put me on the Chance the Rapper. He is so freaking dope and so talented. His um, music is just really, really good. His collabs are really good when he works with other artists. Shout outs to him performing um, on Jimmy Fallon and um, with a, a with a, who else? It Anthony Hamilton and Drum and uh, a bunch of other other guys I can't think of any names right now but the performance was really good it was something different the uh, chance lyrics I really love um, it gives you something to think about just really really dope artist I definitely uh, look forward to seeing more from him uh, Chance the Rapper, I'm sorry, I didn't even mention his album name. Chance the Rapper album is called Coloring Book, and it came out on May 13th of this year. So, definitely an album you should get. I think it's dope. It's creative. Like the title, Coloring Book. Shout out to Chance the Rapper. Number four on my list is Anderson Pack. I just love this artist tremendously he is so creative so dope he's from the cali area um chance chance <laughs> it is impact his album came out uh january 15th um but it is on fire because i've been trying to order it on vinyl and it's on back order so Trust me, when I get the vinyl, I'll definitely do a vinyl review on it. But he, like, his whole album is boss to me. Like, everything is just dope, talented, super, super talented. I look forward to hearing more from him. And he's also supposed to come out with a, um, an album, if I'm not mistaken, with No Worries. No, the group called No Worries. But, um, the producer... I think his name is Knowledge. Yeah. 
It's supposed to come out with an album. I don't know if it dropped yet anything, but usually for me, anything that Anderson Pack uh, collabs on or dudes, dudes, do <laughs> performs with his um, sidekick uh, knowledge. They also have a group outside of his solo uh, artist projects. Um, it's it's always dope. Um, number five. On my list is De La Soul. Love, love, love. I've always loved De La Soul. I feel like they're up there with uh, the legendary groups. De La Soul can do me no wrong. Uh, De La Soul came out with and The Anonymous. I actually like that title. And they released their album August 26th. This project is very special, I think, because fans and people contribute to the Kickstarter, if I'm not mistaken, for this project. And it was a little bit more hands-on and you didn't have to depend on labels. So I am all for that life. Shout outs to De La Soul. I've been hearing a lot about this album, so I do plan on ordering it for a vinyl review. So please definitely get the De La Soul and the Anonymous album, which came out, like I said, I think August 26th. Yes. Uh, number six that's on my list is Sky Zoo and Apollo Brown. If you're not, if you don't know, Sky Zoo is a dope MC out of the New York area. Apollo Brown. Apollo Brown. I'm not for sure where Apollo Brown is from. However, it might be in the description box uh, after you watch this video. Um, their project is called The Easy Truth. Dope title. This also came out on September 30th. Really dope uh, production from Apollo Brown. Um, blends well with Sky Zoo, uh, lyrical wordplay. Sky Zoo is really a dope MC. He's been in the game for a long time. So I really like the album. I heard some stuff off of it and I was like, oh, this is tight. So I just, I think it was worth um, going out and purchase. So if you're interested in getting something different, and usually with Apollo Brown, he's a uh, producer. He always does collabs with other MCs. So I think this was really a good fit for him, him and Sky Zoo. The chemistry blends well. And last at least, number seven on my list is Mac Miller. I am very surprised when I heard this um, Mac Miller album. It's called The Divine Feminine, which is pretty dope. I, I can tell you, with all of these albums, they have really good uh, album titles. So I like that. But with Mac Miller, this project came out September 16. He has Anderson Pack featured on it. He has Bilal. He has CeeLo, which is, to me, very different. I wasn't like a super like fans or or like admirer of Mac Miller. Maybe because I didn't really listen to his music like that. But I was like, let me check this out. The album is incredible and it's worth going out and buying. So these are my top seven albums to get, which is the new Solange album, A Seat at the Table. De La Soul and the Anonymous, uh, Anderson Pack, Malibu, uh, Mac Miller, The Divine, uh, Sky Zoo, The Easy Truth, Chance the Rapper, Coloring Book, and Danny Brown, Atrocity Exhibition. Yes. So please definitely, if you are interested, go out and support these artists. I will have links um in the information box where you can purchase their stuff i really like all their albums i'm trying to get some of them on uh vinyl and comment let me know what album you think is dope what album you will look you'll be looking to purchase and just your opinion about my list and um like this video and if you're interested subscribe welcome to my new subscribers as well as my uh, previous subscribers i appreciate you all and i will see you on the next video peace Avani.